Yeah, just one eye mick here. Just one eye mick from Swan eye mick. There's not much grounds maintenance going on at the moment, so it's just Swan eye mick or Swan eye mick. I'm going to see if that'll. Oh, that might not even. Yeah, it's actually not going to clear by the look of this. But there's your uh, glass house mountains. I'm looking down towards the down towards the um, port of Brisbane. You can see it up, runs up through Bribey. I can see it from here and here. I can see Morton Bay Passage, but it'd be too hard to make out with the open eye. Ah, oh, with the through this. Um, so we're up here. I'm up here, and, the, and this is up here. Just going to pan around. This house knob, nice little spot. There's Mitzi up there. And this is out having a walk around. I'm going to get a bit of a fire going tonight, and just going to have to walk down here. It's a bloody beautiful spot. This is. This is what I was really good about this, probably shouldn't say it, but this COVID-19 lockdown. Up here, it's for exercise. Uh, you can go for a bit of a drive. Uh, within 10 kilometres, well, I'm, I'm just pointing out there towards Belthorpe. I'm going to actually, because I've got a corner post to steady it on, so I'm going to... Uh, so, what have we got there? That's, I'm just trying to think, that's out Doyle's Road, probably at Reese Below's house, as you can see, you can't see. And the Far Hills is out there, is towards Bolthorpe. But uh, I'm going to zero that back out now, because it's really unclear. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. So, oh, this was just going to say to you, yesterday, a little bit of negativity on one of my videos there, the long one, most of them. Most of it was about, um, about fun growing up, but I did get touch upon the council stuff, the council that I work for. It's a council right here, it's actually a council area that I live in, and uh, I can talk about it now because that sort of warned me, and actually I could even show you the letter I got from the council, from one of the managers, one of the high up managers, really disappointing. Um, throwing out orders at me, talking to me like, like I was a school kid, and uh, and you know, at uh, 55 years of age or what I was at the time, 56, they're talking to you like you're a piece of shit. Oh, he, this particular fellow was. I can actually show it to you, and uh, and video it, and it was just, I, I was just mind blown. They were ordering me around what I work, what I can and what I can't do, and who I can talk to and who I can't. And oh god, but uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting, interesting. Interesting when people, you know, you, you see people go on about, you know, they constantly go on, oh, the government about bullying and all that sort of stuff. Bully this, bully that, bully, bully, bully. Oh, he's mentally, that particular bull man's bullied that person and oh, they've done this and they've done that. Well, they need to take a bloody leaf out of their own book. There's only one person in that management team and her, her name's Christy. She was a high up manager. She's the only one I'd give any time for at all. The rest of them, huh, what a joke. Uh, Bullies with a capital B, the majority of them, as far as I was concerned. Uh, bully v v mentally, not not physically, because they'll know they'll probably come off, even though I'm a little old man, they'll probably come off second best. Um, because when I get bloody riled up, there'd be no bars held, and I don't think they'd have the heart I'd have. I'd be pretty confident in saying that. I'll pick up anything. <laughs> but anyway, it's all good. But how lucky are we to be living in this? This is going to say out here, with this COVID-19, there's a car going along, two cars going along, I don't know if you'll make it out, past the macadamia, just coming towards the macadamia nut farm, probably see a couple little white spots, so we've got Crookneck, so you've got the big big mountain on the side and the one right in the middle is Crookneck, so if you come straight back this way and you can see a heap of green trees, that's the macadamia nut farm at um, Woodford Maloney Road, just past the mountain view turn off and it runs right back around through there you can see him but anyway getting back to this COVID-19 we're in lockdown uh, so what have we been locked down now for Friday so we've been locked down I think for eight or nine days I think it was last Thursday wasn't it Thursday or Wednesday we got locked down and we're now at Friday afternoon so I think it's eight days so you see a light down there. So up here, and I shouldn't even say this, but up here in Mullaney, I can see so you can go for a bit of exercise, so you can drive to within 10 kilometres, I think. 
So come up here, it's nice uphill because I'm having hell's own trouble with my Achilles tendon, left hand Achilles at the moment. I've had trouble with that for years and um, it just arcs up every so often and you just got to be real careful with them because one of my workmates in council probably 10 years ago busted his playing touch football and I think he was eight months off work or something, operations and oh, his legs, he's, it's never come right. So, but anyway, I'm, um, let me zero that back out. It's a, um, it's a little, a little um, uh, rav. Um, yeah, so they never come good. And uh, well, she wasn't, she didn't even know that one. So I'm going to wander back up now. So now they're gone. So I didn't want to be up there while they were there. They had dogs and whatever else, and I didn't need to be up there talking to myself, talking to all talking to an iPad <laughs> but um, I'll just wander on up here shake a bit as I'm walking it's a little bit more exercise there's a little steep uphill here it probably doesn't look like it but it is but I'm hobbling so yeah so what with me with me mowing it's all right brush cutting uh, and mowing's good because I can sit on the mower and rest it but uh, when you when you're carrying an injury it's not good not very good at all. <clears throat> yeah, just have a little burp. We're going to get a fire going tonight in the backyard. And uh, we're going to have some Jen's pizzas from the Fin Bar. Beautiful pizzas. I'm going to have a seafood one. <laughs> so I'm going to head to the car shortly because it's starting to get bloody cold. I'm going to go home and light this fire up. And, uh, yeah. Just quickly do a 360 when I get up here. Your latest sex is not a bad looking car. This car's got about 90,000 on it. It's a five year warranty, I think it's four years old. It's still got a year left. And uh, that was by far, out of those cars, the best value. Best value of those cars, I think it was about 24 grand or something when she bought it. It's heap on the road. Servicing isn't real cheap, but servicing is probably not real cheap for anything. The cap price, but when you get into them bigger services, I think the 80,000 is fairly dear. But anyhow, here we are, which I've done plenty of times. Now, which is good. We used to paint this when I was on council. Back in the day, Bundy and myself, Pete Bundy. And, uh, I haven't been doing much maintenance here by the look of it now. But well, I've put new boards here, I've seen new bolts here. So I've obviously, the, di the dicks have destroyed them. And look at that, look how much. Let's check out how much damage I've done to there, cutting that. And the council will grind it back because, or the contractors will grind it back because the obscenities on it. So you end up defacing the boards because you've got to. Same with there, just to get the obscenities out of it. Everything's got scratches on it. I'm thinking to myself, why would you do that? Why why would you do that? Look at this bird shit all over here. I'm not really happy sitting on bird shit. I won't sit on it. Uh, so anyway, yeah. so we're going from Mount Biwa, which we can see the big fella, and I'm panning around, which I've done plenty of time, and all the wattles now, and other bits of rubbish, but a lot of wattles in there. Back out over past Belthorpe, back out towards Jimna. About 15 years ago, a woman committed suicide off here. It's an old quarry. One of the workmates, buddy, was talking to her, and the next day a car was still up here, and he came up here to have smoke and do some work, do some gardening and that, and a bit of checking up on a Friday. The car was still up here, and reported it, and she jumped off just over there, around the other side of that fence there. She walked around and jumped off, she was dead. Uh, which often you don't often see when you're committing suicide, it's pretty sad, but really affected my work, mate. Oh, um, quite a religious bloke. Look at the orange cloud, isn't that beautiful? So it's coming up here, you'll probably see through the iPad better than now than you can with the naked eye because they seem to do that. But um, pretty sure it's down here, 
down in these bushes here, there's a big house for sale. Seen pumped up on my Facebook the other day. Pumped up and popped up. And I reckon it's that house I can see right there, which in Reesful, you want to see the size of it. A, uh, what do you call it? Absolute, absolute, um, right, uh, what do you call that? I'll think about it while I'm talking. Um, extravagance, extravagance, just ter oh, just uh, total waste of money. Big pool, full size tennis court, gym, big as, big as a gym in Mullaney. Just big, 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 everything's big. Oh, I'd hate to even think of the price of it, but it just amazes me that people can actually accumulate that much money. Because I know how hard it is to make a dollar doing what I'm doing. And my job wouldn't, doing what I'm doing, wouldn't even support me buying a brand new four-wheel drive, let alone spending, and I work pretty hard for money, don't you worry about that, like a lot of blokes do. And uh, same, my son, like, you know, it's, it's always just a struggle in a small business, that's for sure. And, uh, and it's even worse on wages, like on council and that, because it's bloody, you, you don't get very good money, I can tell you. It's now f rent money and food, and that's about it. And uh, you, you'd run a car and put the fuel, and that'd be about it. But I'm looking through this, this is as clear as a day looking through the iPad, and not through my naked eye. But I'm going to shut it down at this very shortly. But this house was absolutely mind blowing. So what I've done is there, I just want to do it just before I'm going to pan quickly back around. So there's Mount Beer, we're out behind the ASX, in front of the ASX, sorry. Out. We go back around, the car coming up here. Have we? I think, I think, yeah. And, uh, oh no, turn around and go into that house down there. Um, so out towards Morton Island, back around, Eagle's Nest and Ball Knob, back around past Cloundra, Maroochee Door, Water Tower at Mullaney, which you can probably see. I'm open that pan up a little bit, you can see that white thing sticking up. Lights and the ships out in the passage, or can, not in the passage yet, sorry, out on the, off, off Maroochee Door and Cloundra. Over there, Mount Coolum, and not sure what that mountain is, Mount, I think that's Mount Karoi over there, back around back around and we'll say probably Jorella out that way. But I'm going to leave it at that. Swano Mick from Swano Mick. Swano Mick on YouTube. Hope this isn't a bad video. Swano Mick out.